to young lords learners and viewers welcome to this session i am going to talk about an epitaph a famous poem of water john dela mer a great modern british poet novelist short story writer of modern age water john dela mer was a famous british poet he wrote beautiful poems novels and short stories his works are adventurous romantic and full of dreams and ideas of childhood queen elizabeth the second honored him with the order of merit in 1953 a great critic jb prestley concluded in 1924 that water john dela mer is one of the most lovable order of artists who never lost sight of their childhood but relive it continuously in their work and contrive to find expression for their maturity in it memories and impressions it's a romantic vision of the world such a great british poet called or named water john dela mer was born on 25th april 1873 at cheriton london united kingdom he was awarded many awards he was conferred carnegie medal which is a very prestigious reward so far as his genre is concerned he wielded his hand and pen on poetry supernatural natural fiction children's literature his works contain treatment of romantic uh, themes dreams death rare states of mind and emotion fantasy uh, worlds of uh, childhood and the pursuit of transcendent water dilla dilamer 
स्टडीड एट सेंट पॉल्स कैथेड्रल स्कूल लंदन इंग्लैंड हिज फॉर्मल एजुकेशन कुड नॉट एक्सटेंड बियॉन्ड दिस पॉइंट हिज फर्स्ट पब्लिश्ड शॉर्ट स्टोरी किस्मत अपियर इन द जर्नल स्केच इन एटीन हंड्रेड नाइंटी फाइव सॉन्ग्स फॉर चिल्ड्रेन इज ए ब्रिलियंट लिटरेचर फॉर चिल्ड्रेन और चिल्ड्रेन लिटरेचर हेनरी ब्रॉकन इज हिज फेमस नॉवेल इन विच ही डिपिक्ट हाउ सेवन चिल्ड्रेन फील वेन दे आर सटअप इन अ रूम एज ए पोएट ही इज कंपेयर टू टॉमस हार्डी एंड विलियम ब्लैक हिज वर्क मेमोर्स ऑफ मीगेट इज ऑल्सो अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग नॉवल नाउ लेट मी टॉक अबाउट द पोएम in question and epitaph and epitaph is a beautiful poem uh, this poem was composed on the death of a beautiful girl a charming girl an attractive girl the poet loved most the poet was in fascinated with the killing beauty of the girl of a west country but uh, beauty is transitory short lived charm and beauty do not last charm and beauty are only for some years and after that they pass away they disappear but the inner beauty and charm do not last they live even after the physical body become subject to decay and death in this poem the poet describes the transitoriness of human life the poet says that human life is transitory short lived it is only for years but real beauty that is inner beauty is permanent and eternal the poet composes this epitaph on the sudden demise of the beautiful lady the poem an epitaph means a poem that is written on the tomb or stone of one who died this is called an epitaph the poem reads thus Here lies a most beautiful lady light of her step and heart was she There was a beautiful girl the poet loved her very much but and the beauty and and the lady was light of her step 
See, was in the habit of changing her choice for her partners, for her lovers. She frequently changed her partners. The poet indicates this thing by the phrase light of a step and heart was she. She was light of a step and she was light of heart as well. She not only loves only the poet, she loves many others. She was inconsistent in her love. The poet suggests the inconsistency of the girl through the line, light of a step and heart was she. I think she was the most beautiful lady. The speaker says that the lady was the most beautiful in the locality, in the place. I think she was the most beautiful lady that ever was in the best country. The poet says that she was the most beautiful lady ever born in the best country where the poet lived. But beauty, beauty vanishes, beauty passes, however rare, rare it be. But beauty is not permanent. How, so however beautiful a lady is, a beauty goes away after some times, just as a rose looks very beautiful for some time. But after some time the rose fades away, the beauty of the flower, the beauty of the rose charm goes away. In the same way, the poet says, but beauty vanishes, beauty passes, however rare, rare it be. <clears throat> and when I crumble, who will remember this lady of the West country? The poet says that, if he dies, who will remember this beautiful lady? So long as the poet is alive, he remembers this beautiful lady. But when he would crumble, when he would become subject to decay and death, who will remember this beautiful lady? To conclude, the poet wants to convey through this poem that beauty is not permanent it is transitory, it is short-lived. What is permanent is inner beauty, inner charm. Thanks.